this should work. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Cards of Heart, and this is Beyblade G Revolution for the Game Boy Advance. I don't know if this is the good Beyblade game or the bad one. I'm still not entirely sure. I've played both, and they're both actually quite fun, but uh, this is this is the one I found myself gravitating towards the most. I didn't really watch Beyblade as a kid, but uh, I sure did get into this game, and because as I'm uh, very big on games with uh, numerous customizable options, and uh, this one certainly offers uh, one of the one of the best customizing experiences you could have. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go through this game and see uh, how well I I can uh, get through this. I think I'm gonna, no, 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 no. Idiot. Actually, I think that volume is fine with that. This, this is a little... This is a little loud in my ears. Okay, that's a little better. Alright, though. So I think with that in mind, I will go ahead and get this... Started. I'm hoping that this takes me under three hours. Keyword, keyword hoping. Few things would have to go right for that to happen. Then this one gets actually quite have a bit. Some holiday weekend bits cards. Thanks, Linka. Appreciate that. This one gets a bit execution heavy, so uh, we'll see how uh, so well I can deal with that. Go ahead and get this started. And I like to start from power on because I can ensure the same state every time. Like the RNG isn't really that uh, impactful in this game. Like I said, this is more execution heavy. Even though this is an RPG, but it's very much on the action side. So, as soon as I get through all these splash screens, and there's that full fat that I am used to so much from way more time, and go ahead and start this game in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. All right, saddle up. Let's do this shit. And of course, it starts with our hero Tyson sleeping on the job. All right, Grandpa, get in here and, uh, and uh, tell him what for. Got a, tr got a train training. Ugh. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure Tyson is thrilled about training. So this, so this, this. Even though this is supposed to be based on like the first half of the G Revolution anime, we're kind of starting from the very beginning of of uh, Tyson's adventures with with this. I'm not entirely sure why. All right, so. Couple things I need to do first. I'm going to get a bunch of parts, and then I'm going to customize this play just a little bit. I think I also need to go in here and turn off the tips. Because those are annoying. A nice little hold B to dash mechanic. Gets a little little tough to control. <laughs> Yes, yes, Grandpa's Grandpa's uh, speech has been dubbed to, to be a uh, really um. Hmm, yeah, you just said whack. I know what I said, dog. <laughs> I doubt. I doubt. Uh, I doubt uh, the original anime was uh, was that hip. <laughs> so, but yeah, this this is this is basically how uh, the uh, whole Beyblade story starts. At least as far as Tyson and company are concerned, or Takao as a, he's supposed to be in the original Japanese, but this this game never never uh, released in Japan. All right, training montage. <laughs> oh, gotta love a game with enough skippable cutscene at the beginning. There is a benefit to this training that uh, that uh, will. Uh, 
be shown at the end here, but uh, it, we're not gonna be- I'm not gonna be that concerned with it for this run. Alright, that's enough. Did you- did you feel it? Do- do you feel the power? Hey, strength! A very irrelevant stat for this run. Like, strength is supposed to up your, like, maybe up your Beyblade's endurance or something? I don't know. And at this point, I don't care. It doesn't increase your attack power. Attack power is all I'm really concerned with. Alright, so let's go out and uh, get into some fights. But first, I can't Beyblade without a ripcord and a launcher, and I'll, uh, I'll, uh, get him from our good friend Ray here. No. Nope. I want to fight you, but uh, I don't have a, I don't have my launcher, and I don't have my ripcord either. Yeah, you can't keep it, you know. Well, I'll I'll deal with you later. You're you're actually a really hard fight. You're probably the hardest fight in the entire game. First things first, I have to uh, unlock stuff by getting to uh, l level two. So I'm gonna get in some fights here. Ah, oh, that's that's a little that's a little unfortunate. So yeah, there's there's a there's a bit of a hidden boost mechanic that uh, this game doesn't really tell you too much about. Like you can you can you can hold you can uh, press A at the right time to determine your power, and then after that you can uh, hold it further to uh, get an extra boost. And if you get a perfect amount of boosts, then uh, there's a bit beast meter that uh, you can fill up. Hey, welcome back, to Vex. I can't really focus. Too, I can't really look at chat too much during these fights because I'm I'm trying to pound on the damage as fast as possible. Though ideally, I would like to. Uh, I would like to get uh, Sean here on a ring out. That would be that would be the fastest way to win, but uh, does not appear to be a possibility this time. It's really hard to ring people out, but uh, sometimes these foes will jump to dodge your attacks, and it actually is possible. I'm just, I'm just going, going in. Once I make contact, I can make little combos. Actually, no, I can't activate it. Yep. All right, my, all right, my bit beast meter is a third of the way full, so now I can unleash the beasts. All right. Like a boss. Wish you had one like that. Well, too bad. All right. Well, now that I've gone to Ray's house, I can unlock. The park here, and uh, get my good friend Kenny to uh, let me know that uh, let me know what I need to uh, have some things ready. And with that, I can now go over up here to the shop and meet up with Max. I'm actually going to save here because this fight gets a uh, a little difficult, and saving takes a long time here, as you can see. So this will be my fast track to experience, because Max is pretty, pretty good. And now, now, uh, he's gonna, now, now, uh, Max here is gonna give me a bit of a tutorial that I cannot get around, but, uh, I need to go through this. I have to visit Max at some point, and I also want to battle him. Telling you all the things that you uh, generally want to care about if you're playing this casually, but uh, I've already gone through all the things that I really care about. I've gone through all the customizing that I'm going to need for this game. You can also repair your Beyblade. It will get damaged at after a point. And I will have to do that at least once throughout this run. All right, good. Perfect boost. Much better. And yeah, Max Max has a lot of RPMs, which uh, function as the HP 
for at this point in the game, so... This is gonna take me... This is going to take me, uh... Uh, a bit of, uh... A bit of an effort. I'll have to actually be careful about uh, the defend defending here. Because uh, you can you can press the B button to defend. Ah, he jumped over it. Like if again, I could I, if I could get uh, if I could get my foes to jump out of the ring more often, that would be the preferred way of getting through these matches. But as it stands now. Ah, oh, shoot. Ran right into Max's defense. And th that's gonna be a problem if Max decides... ...to, uh, use his Bit Beast. I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble... ...from that point onward. So I'm using- I'm using different combo- there are three different combos that you can... Use and I want to use different ones depending on where my opponent's at. If I have them against the wall, I'll use the uh, the uh, the uh, right left A combo, which is considered the weakest combo in the group. But uh, when you're on the when you're on the edge, it can uh, get you the it can get you the most hits and the most damage. But otherwise, I'm just going to use the up down strong combo. It ensures me to get the the most hits. Oh jeez. You gotta be more mindful of that. Although my bit beast gauge is almost full, then I will be safe to launch this attack. And I can kinda of combo it. If I time it right, I can combo it off the end of that. So alright, that should be all wrote for that. Yeah, that, that, that was actually a little bit of overkill, but... Like a bounce. All right. Yeah! I'm gonna do that again. And now Max is gonna give me some spare parts that I do not need. No. I want to challenge you to another battle, because you give up- give out that much experience. Mm, a little late on the boost. So this is gonna get interesting. Yeah. I probably should have saved after this fight too. Like getting that getting that uh, perfect boost is actually really hard. You have to get uh, at least 95% in both both power and boost, and uh, getting that boost can be the most difficult part. I might be able to get a ring out there. Hmm. Huh. No oh, shoot! I can't be. I can't be doing that. Ah. Let's see here. There we go. Actually, I could end up losing ugh, this. At this rate, I could lose my my Beyblade. Because if you have more than one Beyblade and you get one from your opponents when you win, I could end up losing mine. Since I have more than one, I really need to be really need to be more careful. This is the kind of reason I uh, I'm like hoping that this this takes in, in total less than three hours. So I'm not actually certain that I can keep it under three hours because of the because of this. Most of the driving force behind uh, the time for this run is going to be oh I almost got him out that would be that would be uh, the fastest way to go through these fights if I can get a ring out each time but uh, I 
alas, it's uh, apparently not meant to be here. I may get knocked out. I may get knocked out if Max decides to use this bit beast here. A couple more combos. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I... <clears throat> see. I just gotta use it. That should be enough. I think. It's gonna be close. Yeah, it's gonna be close. It's not gonna be quite enough. Shoot! Okay, that's good. Alright. Alright, now I want to go over here to uh, Mr. Tate. I'm gonna buy a couple of things. My competition ripcord and a competition launcher, because my little dinky plastic ripcord and launcher are not going to last me the rest of the game. So now... Oh shoot, I did not want to talk to you. Whatever. So now I want to go over here. I'm gonna have to... Uh counter the Skull Crew here at some point. I can do that now that I'm at level 2. Aw, oh, Kenny's being called a girl. And he runs away like a little baby! So now, uh, now there's a gauntlet of, uh, four... four matches in a row that I have to get through. Which aren't too bad if I can... if I can get the... perfect launches. Is you is is you ain't my baby. <laughs> oh whatever. Oh whatever. Whatever. Why give, why even give me the choice? Really do not want to launch early, because that's an immediate loss. Oh, I wonder if I could have. I wonder if I could have knocked him out of the ring there, because I did hear that jump sound. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! But yeah, but yeah. Now that now that uh, now that now that uh, Tyson has gotten a bit of experience, my RPMs is now much more competent compared to all these foes, and that's mostly thanks to uh, the hidden boost that the game doesn't really tell you too much about. Shoot. Hmm. Decided to... Decided to, uh... Dodge by, uh, The dodge button instead of... With the jump. It's kinda... It's kinda hard to, uh... Get a ring out in this game. You could go, you could go through an entire playthrough without ringing anyone out. Dude, no way. All right, one more, one more combo should do it. I can combo out of this into uh, my bit beast if I time it right. There we go. Bit beast, pretty good. Like a bow. So that's one. All right. <laughs> now he's like, no. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Get him, Scar. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be interesting. So yeah, so yeah, this this is a gauntlet. This is a gauntlet of four fights. I cannot adjust things in the middle, which would normally be a problem. But uh, 
my blade's gonna get uh, really overpowered for the rest of the game on this configuration anyway. But yeah, this is... This is all that I can really do with this game at the moment. Just trying to get in all of these hits and knock them out. Ring out would be the fastest way to go through this, but I'm not very good at setting up the ring outs. Aside from uh, the potential one at the very beginning of the match. Gotta press L and R at the same time to activate the Fit Beast. I like, sometimes I'll, I'll alternate between the two. Do like an alternate mash. That's 11 hits of that. I believe, I believe at 2 gauges you get uh, 22 hits. And at 3 gauges you get, you get at 33 hits. Two out of four. Now it's Fang's turn. <laughs> There's always so much banter before these matches. It's like the game didn't know how to resolve these correctly. Does this work? All right, it does get over there. So yeah, at the at the edge at the edge, uh, the game kind of forces your blade uh, more into more uh, into the opponent. So so you can get in a lot more hits with the weakest of the combos. It's pretty neat. Yeah, ran right into it. Mostly just using that to build up my my meter. This might be one I might be best person to trying to get this ring out. Yes, there we go. Combo, combo. Uh, from the combo into the bit beast. I don't remember the timing window for it, but it is uh, a bit on the precise side. Okay. Yeah, I've I've got this one heavily wrapped up by now. There really aren't too many difficult fights in this entire game if you uh, know about the boost mechanic and have the right have the right uh, blade set up there's really only one difficult fight left in the entire run and that one is going to be a doozy, let me tell you. Like a boss. Yeah, you are a fool, idiot. Alright, alright, it's time for Bones. Bones wanted, wanted me. Now he's gonna get me. So much banter before these matches, so weird. Ew, that was a low boost. <laughs> I let I let go really early there. So this one is go Ah! Oh, almost got him. Those ring outs would be really fun if I can make those consistent. Unfortunately, 
Uh, this may feel like a bit of a grind, but unfortunately this game... ...really, really, uh, has, uh, quite a few solid triggers in place to... ...enforce that you're doing certain things. And there's not, there's not a lot I can... do to... to uh, play with the order. Get the bit beast out. So, like, I have to deal with this Skull Crew, and then I have to deal with... Like a I have to deal with all of the, the uh, bladers in the park. I ain't finished yet. Got got uh, Kenny back, thankfully. All right, now to go down to the park. Battle everyone in the park to, for Tyson to show that uh, he is the best, like uh, no one ever was, or something along those lines. Compared to Max, compared to the Skull Crew, these foes are nothing. This, this, this is really, this is really who you're intended to face at the very beginning. This, this is where your first challenge is supposed to be. But uh, I'm trying to uh, optimize my experience grind a little bit, so I uh, decided to put this off. Now that's that's a little whatever. Like a bounce. Let's see here. Okay, so that's Lewis done. It's one of seven, I believe. I'll go up here and fight you. <laughs> You're not push shover either, huh, Pete? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Sure. Sure, you're not. Let me beat him quick so I can get to his lunch. Good. Good. Make sure to combo that right into the bit piece so I can get a little extra hit of powered up damage. That's pretty good. Tyson, Tyson just, Tyson just pushes these fools around. Like a Not much to that one at all. Alright, Chris is next here. The order doesn't really matter too much because you're you're coming at them at these players from the same positions anyway so it's not like you have to go through more walking hmm oh well oh you went right to the offensive I don't see that too often at this point I want to make contact with Chris as much as I can because making contact builds up the bit beast meter. It really doesn't have anything to do with these these combos. You just have to you just have to touch them. Beat, I may beat this guy before I even get to my bit beast. Yeah, 
Yeah, now, yeah, now it's not, now it's not worth it to go to my bit beast. We just waste time. It is Jane's turn. Yes, we are... We are, uh... We are an equal opportunity destroyer in this game. So we'll beat up on the boys and girls just the same. Mm. I need to get better at that. I'm... I'm barely missing that by one frame. And I think I have a three frame window to, to get that. You think I'd be accustomed to three frame windows from all my Puzzle League experience, but uh, I haven't actually played too much of this in a while. Like I, I, finished, I finished out a little bit of my routing for the end game last night, but I really, really haven't uh, played through this game in its entirety in weeks. I think I think uh, some of that is starting to show. Yeah, just trying to make contact with the. Again, just trying to make contact with the opposing blade as much as I can to build up that bit piece meter. Like a bounce. Good. All right. Now for Sarah here. I can't remember if this is the one you actually have to beat in order to advance the plot. She's she is the one that uh, she actually disappears after you beat her from this area, and you do not see her again for a while. So I don't know if she is the most important one to beat here. I think I would consider her the toughest of anyone here, though. But she still... She still folds... like a paper crane in the face of my Dragoon Storm. Ah! Just wasting time now. Like, really, all of these battles are a waste of of time if I can't ring them out. Like the yeah, bounce. the ring out would be... The ring out would be... the most, the most efficient way of winning these fights. And yeah, here's Jane's brother Phil. Not that, uh, not that I really care that, uh, He's Jane's brother. He will go down all the same. As long as I don't launch too early. Yeah, I get right into right into his grill with this with uh, my bit beast. Really nothing to any of these fights in the park. But the game requires it. For now. In a glitchless environment. Like a I haven't been able to find... I haven't been able to, uh find a way to... Uh, I haven't been able to find a, a useful glitch that will uh, go go past these fights, but... Uh, oh well. Oh well. I don't have much choice in the matter at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, you decide to dodge. You decide to dodge that way, huh? Not the most efficient start, but I'm not super concerned right now. Yeah, <laughs> the bit beast just tears through these foes like they're nothing. Yeah, already gone. Like a boss. Okay, now I gotta get out of here. I think I do have to actually beat Ray in order to advance this. So... I will go beat up Ray. But I do need to save, because this fight is, pro is probably the hardest in the entire game. I don't think there's much competition for it. your launch techniques. Oh, I will. I will fight you. Oh, I really need a perfect launch to have a reasonable shot at this. Well, hmm. This is, this is gonna be fun. Now my big worry is that uh, Ray's going to, uh, use his bit beast twice in my process of building up my own bit meter basically full I think I have to I think I have to uh, build it up to full to take out all of these rpms jeez if I end if I end up uh, if I end up uh, Getting hit by Ray's Bit Beast twice, uh, I basically lose. Yeah, wasn't it though, Hoovenator? Welcome back. A little grindy, admittedly, but uh, there are ways to get around some of that grind. There's a, a bit of a There's a bit of a showstopper at the very end that is able to skip quite a bit of normally required content. I keep running into these defenses. I can't break through. There's no way I can. you think at some point I would learn. Yeah, because this... Th I get this. Okay. Okay, he used it... He used it pretty late. After the first... Bit meter, so... This gives me some hope. This gives me some hope for, uh... Wait this. Jeez. This is... this is really annoying. There is a reason this is the... I find this to be... the hardest fight in the entire game. Man, I'm, I'm only gonna... Oh, shoot. Crying out loud. Yeah, if, if Ray uses his bit base again, it's over. So I'm I'm just I'm just clutching my lemon booty and praying that Ray doesn't doesn't uh, use us. Ray doesn't use his bit beast. Okay. Uh-oh. Just waiting 
for full meter. Okay, that should do it. This should be like 1500 damage. Yeah. Alright, that should be done. <laughs> that should be good. Goodness gracious. That is scary. <laughs> that is a really scary fight. Whew. Gives like a hundred experience at a point win though. When uh, a bunch of these, a bunch of these opponents give like thirty, so he's good for an experience grind. And now I believe I have I have set everything in motion. Go to the park and hey, everyone's here. All right, all right, I can finally move on. And now anyone that's that has seen G Revolution. Knows this little brat, Daichi. He's gonna be he's gonna be a, a bit of a thorn. But I've got to I've got to beat this kid to uh, keep on going. Yeah, I wasn't on the I was not on the uh, the Beyblade kick as a kid. I mean, I kind of see the appeal, but uh, I can see the appeal now, but I wasn't drawn to it when I was younger. If, if only actual Beyblades were like this. For the most part, for the most part, this is the game. Just banging, just banging away at all these HP sponge blades to try and uh, knock them out. Cause uh, I don't think I don't think I have a a conceivable way of uh, making these things ring out mid match. So, uh, it's, it's just, it's just grinding away at this point. It's all I, uh, know to do. Oh, whatever. I'm basically waiting for, uh, a full bit beast meter anyway. wait there. Like, when they start defending like that, I could wait and try to maneuver myself to a point where I can get them to ring out. But I'm not really... I haven't found a consistent setup to do that. Did you just use some combos, man? Actually have enough. I might be a hundred short. If this if this is only in like two sections. Yeah, that was only in two sections, but this is probably okay. Yeah, he's dead. Like All right. All right, Daichi's got to get out of here. And what the? Who the hell are you, Jin of the Gale? In time, my name won't make a difference. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this totally doesn't seem like someone we'll be running into multiple times. Uh-oh. 
It's official. Yo, Beyblade World Championships, let's go. What's this going to be? Oh boy. Tag teams. We've got tag teams here. Holy moly. All right. Now uh Now I'm going to now I'm going to going to be starting to engage in some three-part matches. Unfortunately, I don't have to win all three matches to move on. Which, which will be nice. I'll only have to win two of the three. I'm like going through my notes heavily to figure out uh, how to do this. So, so, uh, I'm gonna go to BBA HQ here, register for the World Championship. Aw, can't do it today. Alright. Yes, that is required. All right, time to go home and rest. Oh, come on, not the monkey boy. That's Tyson's words, not mine. Good grief. <laughs> All right, Grandpa, yeah, gonna need you to break it up. Hey, little dudes, <laughs> what's the skidding? Oh my God. No, you're not hungry for a battle, you're just hungry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, boy. Yeah, leave, but not until we eat battle. Oh, God. This kid's obsessed. Uh-oh, where'd Daichi go? He's helping out with chores. The hell? Oh my goodness. All right, so. All right, time to go back to the headquarters. Now that it's open and register for the world championship. Oh, they're having problems with the computer, so we're gonna have to go to the event and register. Not oh, great. Thanks, stay hydrated, bot. Appreciate that. Uh oh. Oh no. Ray's leaving the Blade Breakers. Blade Breakers. Ray, traitor! Hmm? Oh, come on, Max. You two. The Blade Breakers are, are uh, falling apart. Oh, jeez. All right, yeah. All right, then. Time to get in some practice. For the world championship. And Kai is like really serious here. It's like, yeah, you lose, it's game over. Yeah, no, he's ser he's serious about the game over, by the way. Like there there will be there will be a fight later on that if you lose you will game over. So that is something to be careful for. This is kind of annoying without a perfect launch. And yeah, this this is just part of the forced grind that this game gives you, and there's really This is, this is just something I, uh, gonna have to 
go through, and yeah, that, that, that combo at the edge of the ring is so good. This allows for so many extra hits. like I'm just going to use yeah, I'm just, I'll just just use uh, use the bit beast at one gauge here and then build it up again for the next battle because this one this one's a three-parter it's not a best of three there are three matches and it's kind of important to uh, the overall story of this game that there are three matches. It uh, it uh, will uh, become a bit of a part of the end game. Something I have to be mindful for. So that's the first battle. Way late on the on the boost. Okay. Do I want to save this for. Do I want to save uh, two gauges for this. I think I do. I think I do because I'll, I'll well. I'll inflict like. 1100, 1200 damage with the uh, two gauges. So yeah, I, I think I think uh, I think I will wait. Activate the bit base here. It's not something I would, uh, I don't think I would normally wait this long for it if I, uh, had been getting perfect launches. But, uh, I have, I have not been getting too many perfect launches lately. I'm not sure, she didn't really use her, her bit beast. I think that's it. Well, it's it's mostly because I've been I've been so aggressive, going with a, a bunch of heavy attacks. Let's go ahead and use it here. Oh shoot! Be careful not to jump. Don't want to be jumping out of the ring. There's the last required fight. As long as I get two of three, I will be able to move on. So, premature launch there. Like a bow. And there we go. So now for Mo. My uh, ripcord and launcher, ah, almost. My ripcord and launcher are getting a bit, uh, a bit low. They're actually going to break the next, the next match. So I made sure, I made sure ahead of time to get those competition ripcord and launchers to. Uh, so that way I don't automatically lose this match. And I'll have I'll have those uh, much higher quality rip cords for the rest of the game.
I'm constantly referring to my notes to figure out how I'm going to do this, because this is this is uh, still a game that I'm not playing too often. Wow! What a waste. What a waste of time. Ah. Couldn't quite combo into it, but that's fine. This will take out to half half of uh, Moe's remaining health. A little more than half. Then I'll just build up build up the bit beast for for uh, the third battle. Because the second battle my ripcord and launcher will break. and launcher have broken, but that is why I bought a spare. Good. Much better. Much, much better. Now I will be able to get through to my bit beast that much faster. I think I will go ahead and activate the two gauges. I usually want to wait for three. will take out a nice little chunk of Moe's health. Almost getting the kill out, right? There's still a little bit more to chip through. I don't feel like giving him the time of day to get that done. And that's it. That is all she wrote for Moe. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Alright, Terry is up next. And yeah, all these all these foes are basically the same. Their Beyblades are virtually identical. Aw, oh, you decided to dodge instead of jump. I might have been a bit Either my RNG was bad or uh, I was actually late with uh my approach. It's hard to say. So in any case, I'm actually gonna save my bit beast here. I found it uh, I found it faster to just build up my build up my bit beast gauge all the way through this first battle like if I get a perfect on this first launch and then just save it all for the second battle where I can unleash at three gauges which will make very short work of uh, basically everyone here Yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think with my, uh, little grinding I'm doing here, I'll probably end up with, uh, I think my, I think my Tyson will, will end up with, like, somewhere between six and eight thousand. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just not really important to me to build that up. Alright, 
First battle done. Aw, no, no perfect. This is fine. It's not a huge time loss, my meter was almost full anyway. Really? There we go. The, the timing pressing L and R at the same time for the bit piece is a bit finicky. Hey, Toltrick, I will. Yeah, this yeah, bit, this bit piece just goes in. Boom. Alright. So that's Harry done. Just premature and launch the third battle and uh, win uh, six points to three. That's all I really care about. Like a boss. All right. All right, Maddie. Let's do this. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always gonna lose time every time I don't get a perfect. Every time I don't get a perfect launch. Because really, because really, your 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 bit beast is the fast track to damage in this game, and I'm just trying to. Get that going as soon as possible, because yeah, it, it's not really, it's not really reasonable for me to try and set up ring outs because they're so they're so hard to get. And cer certainly, uh, certainly would not be a bad thing for me to try and set up. Uh, in these matches, but uh, actually at the very end it could uh, prove to be an issue. There's something there's something very specific I want to do at the end that uh, would make me uh, requ would require me not to to uh, do any. Any uh, ring outs at all? Wow, frame late. Yeah, I, I I appear to have not gotten too many perfect launches in this run. Like maybe if I were to play this more, that would change. I'm not sure how often I want to play this because this is on a good day going to be a two and a half hour run. I don't, I don't much care for spending a lot of time on a two and a half hour games. I could just, I could just get in a lot more. A lot more uh, practice with a puzzly game in that amount of time. I'm more of a fan of the of the shorter run because of that. But hey, I can get behind. I can still get behind this game. I can still get behind. Games like Yu Gi Oh! The False Gun Kingdom, or Monster Rancher, or Mario Golf. Definitely not. Like Those mouse. games are definitely not a big deal. Alright, Charlie is next. Whew. 
really. This is kind of annoying. I'm getting really annoyed by my lack of perfect launches. Are you kidding, Xanaboy? My... My first runs... of Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom were... longer than I am anticipating this one will be. I could have knocked you out of the ring! Ugh. I'm not listening for that jump sound. Oh, that, that annoys me. I could have knocked you out of the ring right there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, welcome, Stalker King. Hope you, uh... Hope you are able to enjoy this in some form. That should be a kill right there. Alright, so I'm just going to try again. A little extra contact. Let's build up the bit beast a little bit more. Perfect. Good. No, I, I only know of uh, one other person that has even attempted to... Uh, record a, a fast playthrough of this game. And I can't find a video of uh, that completion, so... Yeah, this this world record is free. There are... there are a bunch of Beyblades for sale. And you get... and you get, uh... more Beyblades... With, uh, with each opponent you defeat, but uh, as far as buying individual parts, no. But the launch gear is certainly... certainly uh, plentiful. Like, like if, you want, if you want new parts, you just get another blade in the mix and match parts. That's really what you do in this game in this game and for this for this run I have uh, I uh, found some spare parts lying around in my bedroom and put them on this on the dragoon storm to be the best it can be good 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 Yeah, I've tried. <laughs> I've tried uh, getting everything. I've tried uh, like mix and matching with everything you can buy in this game, and turns out the most powerful parts are just ones that uh, you find you find lying around in your in your house. Frame early on the perfect again. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying how many perfects I'm not getting. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, getting getting perfects would shorten these battles a considerable amount over the long haul, and really getting ring outs would be the biggest time saves if I could find a way to do them consistently. But uh, I've never found anything consistent. Well, to be to be fair, this this starts from the very beginning of Beyblade, so so uh, Tyson's not the champion yet, and he still has uh, OP parts. And by OP, I mean like really high high attack parts. Because that's really all I care about. Like the endurance can get can get buffed a little bit, but uh, the biggest thing I'm concerned with is attack, and uh, I think I've maxed out uh, my possible attack with the parts that I was able to get at the very beginning of the game. Alright, let's battle. 
one with Dougal. There we go, much better. I think I will wait for two full gauges before I launch this bit beast. Get back here. Yeah, I never I never kept up with Beyblade as a kid. Don't really so much care. I just I just happen to like I just happen to like this game because I'm a sucker for games that let you customize a lot of things. That should be all she wrote to Google. Oh, <laughs> I got transported to Charlie. <laughs> Lol. All right. All right. It's time to take on Kai. And he was not king about the game over earlier. If you lose, you will game over. This is basically the only place in the entire game where you can actually game over. Fortunately, Kai is not so overpowered compared to you like Ray was, so this fight is nowhere near as bad. Yeah, I did get a perfect launch, so... I will go to three full gauges on my bit beast meter before launching it, and that will do. How much damage is that supposed to do again? I think it's going like 2,000. Something close to it. Like, like, my, my most difficult parts of, uh, this game are already over. Like, Ray and Max were the tough parts here. Kai, Kai, uh, just, just, uh, cannot, uh, keep up with the, uh, power creep that, uh, that, uh, Tyson has attained here. Really, no one else in the game keeps up. Not even at the very end. At the very end, I'm not even going to use Tyson to win, because Tyson's, Tyson's fights take too long. So, I'm actually going to use uh, someone else to win my fights at the very, very end. One or two more combos. All right, one more combo after this. There we go. Right. Try 
to get as much contact with Kai's blade as I can in order to build up the bit beast meter. Another perfect launch. Neat. So yeah, Kai powers up a little bit, but uh, unless unless Kai magically ended up with three times as much RPMs as as Tyson Tyson would uh, would uh, mop the floor with everyone, especially with this all-out attacking style that I'm doing. Like this, this game. Like w once you know what you're doing with this game, this game loses a lot of its challenge really quickly. I'm not even gonna try to ring him out. It's practically impossible to set it up. Yeah, I actually, I actually managed to get through this entire game without knowing about the boost mechanic. Like, still, still being able to do that, uh, I thought was uh, either impressive or just a microcosm of how, uh, of how uh, easy this game was. Yeah, the, the boost mechanic. You just you just uh you just hold A on the launch after you select your power and uh if you get a if you get a, a full boost and you get a perfect boot perfect uh launch rating, you get uh you get uh, a unit of your bit beast gauge filled up. You also get a lot more a lot more uh, RPMs from it too. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Because Ray didn't freaking tell me how in the launch tutorial. And I had no I had no manual when I played this the first time, so I had no idea. Oh don't jump. Don't jump, Tyson. There we go there. That is all she wrote for Kai. Easy. Yeah, the boost the boost thing I never managed to figure out. I don't know who's supposed to tell you, because I I uh I never could find the tip in game that told you about it. All right, two out of three. That's all I need. Like a bounce. <laughs> Kai, st Kai still thinks he he let let me win. Oh, jeez. <laughs> jeez. Freaking hell. Alright. Yeah, there's there's a there's there's a Hillary getting uh the news broken to her about uh, Ray and Max. So. Alright. Alright, got got through a lot of practice. Time to uh, Time to uh, cool off with a nice little dip in the pool. Hey, dog! I'm a dude. No, he's not. He's not a friend. Golly. Alright. When you swim fit. Alright, dog. Be right back. So, Grandpa's gonna get the swim trunks. Now, I'm going to the pool. 
much, uh, much, uh, less glorious than it sounds. All right. Thank you. Come again. Now time to go change. Now get into the pool and start battling. Cause that's that's what you that's what you do. That's what you do at the pool, right? You 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 uh you uh blade? Absolutely. Ah! Oh, almost! Oh I get really close to that ring out sometimes. It's hard for hard for me to actually do a ring out without without uh, emulator tools. Eat the apples. That's that's the thing. You can you can eat apples and the and the drink sodas to increase your strength. Yeah, sodas make you stronger. I don't know. Not sure how. Uh, how that one works, but, uh, I think it's every four. I, I remember being every, every four apples or so will give you a strength boost, but strength doesn't boost anything that, uh, makes the run faster, so I don't care. <laughs> it's doping soda. <laughs> that, that's what it is, yeah. Steroids in, in the, the sodas. That's that's why they're so good for you. Kappa. Hmm. Just a little more. This may be overkill, but uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. Keep making it safe. Beyblade. I wish I had one like that. All right. So I'm going around all of going around uh, to all of the people who uh, blade and uh, fight them at the pool. Cause again, ah, sheesh, so close. If I can make that, if I could make that consistent, that would be the absolute fastest way to get through these fights. <laughs> oh yes. I I mean really really isn't isn't sugar kind of kind of uh the uh kid steroid Yeah, I'm sure it would, and yet this game has no multiplayer. Seems so bizarre not to give... Not to give a game like this a multiplayer option to... Uh, battle with the blades. It's so... it's so weird. Then again, this is full fat as a developer we're talking about. Uh, I'm no stranger to them cutting corners in their games. If you saw my uh, runs of The Land Before Time for the Game Boy Advance, uh, that would have been very evident. Like a boss. I would, yahoo! Collins the Appalachian, Bladen's the Avocation. So weird. <sighs> Shoot. Ah. Oh well. I expect this one to take a while. 
And I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lose time every time I don't get a perfect launch. That's just the way this, this run is going to function. Yeah, something like that. Never was too big into into science. I was okay with physics, but uh, sciences in general were just I was just not uh, too keen on. I was too big. I was too big into math when I was younger. Seventy six damage per per a hit on the, the fit beast, so that's eight hundred and thirty six damage for just one level. Which is pretty neat. <laughs> for sure. does not battle, but uh, this this guy certainly does. Good, good. Ah, you decided to go that way. Bummer. Try it. If I can, if I can, I'd like to keep these foes on the edges so that way I can get in more efficient combos. Yes. Yes, like I said, this this game is generally pretty good at enforcing triggers. Everyone you can battle here, you have to battle here. Like this is this is not this is not grinding for the sake of grinding. This is grinding because the game says you have to do this. I've never found I've never found a way to glitch past all of it. I mean, I'm I'm sure the game thinks you need all this RPM for for uh, the world championship, but you really don't. And the person the person I'm going to be using to to uh, win to win the championships with I'm not going to be able To, uh, grind them up anyway. So if you play this game before, you already know what my plan is there. Hmm, that should be enough. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's there's a bit of an unfortunate thing at the very end. The opponent's kind of scaled to you. So it really doesn't help like to grind Tyson too much. All right. Since when does since when the since when does someone spell Gus with two S's? Ah. I'll I'll find some visual cue to make that more consistent someday. Today, however, is uh, not the day. My notes say to. Only build up one get one unit of bit base gauge in each of these fights. I don't know if that's gonna be enough here.
Actually, it should be, because I'm, I'm inflicting... I'm inflicting 80 to 100 damage with each combo. It's closer to 100, actually. It's like 90. So, yeah, one, one bit beast meter should be enough. Ah, what a waste. You know, Zamboy actually got fi just finished uh, playing through both of the GBA games recently. Speaking speaking of uh, fighting games with heavy customization options, I didn't watch Metabots as a kid, but I was really a sucker for. Really a sucker for uh, those games, at least. All right, now I can get out of here. I walked too far down. Oh, well. So now Daichi shows up here for some reason. And he's able to get in with his clothes on. Now we kind of have the lifeguard here of sorts. Telling, telling Daichi what's what, and... Yeah, apparently you're not supposed to Beyblade at the pool! Who would have guessed? No Beyblades indoors! Stupid. <laughs> He's a stupid rule. It's a, he says it's a stupid rule, so... Uh... So yeah, let's, uh... Yo, let's go. Alright. Let's get into a battle. Really? I'm really bad at that. I'm sure. I'm sure, uh. You could, uh, really develop refined, uh, tactics for moving around in all these these uh, battles because these opponents these opponents uh, are constantly circling around you that is the way they always move so there's room for someone to come in and uh, really develop some next level tactics for uh, movement in all of these battles. Ah, not quite. Like I found I found a way to uh, do it at the very beginning of the match. And you guys have uh, seen it almost pulled off twice already already. But uh, I I have yet to make that consistent. Yes. Yes. A, a ring out is an instant win. Defense ring for some reason. Oh. Like a bounce. All right. Now I just need to change clothes and get out of here. Nothing more for me to do here. Uh, let's. 
So then I need to go... Yeah, now, now I can go up to uh, the arena. So here we are, the uh, preliminaries for the World Championships. Yes, Kenny is going to compete. So yeah, Kenny, Kenny will, uh, I think Kenny will be a, a pretty big help. In this one, and I'll go ahead and repair my blade while I'm thinking about it. Whoops. <laughs> the apples. No, Kai, Kai uh, will not be an option for reasons that will be seen later. Monkey, monkey, monkey! <laughs> oh, this this Daiichi is gonna, gonna be annoying. <laughs> Tyson, the T. Jeez. I feel like this Jin and the Gale person is uh, going to be annoying to deal with too. gonna be here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you can't talk to me like that. I'm a BBA official, damn it! Daichi wants a fight. Or maybe not. Let's just let's just go. Uh, wait. <laughs> yeah, the dressing room? Uh no, they, they don't care. Actually, am I supposed to go this way yet? No, I'm not. I I keep making this mistake. Uh, that's that's a bit of a bit of a bother. I'm supposed to go this way. And, uh, yeah, he just disappeared. Hmm, weird. So, yeah, I kind of just saw Jin of the Gale again. And it's like, whatever. Whatever, he's not important. All right, all right, Linka. Take care. I'll, I'll, I'll actually be doing more than one run because I have that kind of time today. I usually don't on a Sunday, but uh, but uh, with Memorial Day coming up, uh, I really do not mind uh, taking a little extra time to do something that I kind of promised for uh, for uh, a while now. All right. Alright, the preliminaries are on. Like, this would be a rematch against Andy if you, uh... ...fought him at the baseball fields earlier. But the speedrun would have no reason to do that. I have no reason to go to that area, so... This is supposed to be a rematch, but, uh... For my purposes, it is the very first meeting. Okay, so I'm gonna wait to build up two gauges here for this first battle. And then I am going to uh, Assuming I get a perfect launch. Oh, yes! Okay, whoo! Yeah, it takes, it does take longer to charge. 
So yeah, there's a blue, a green, and a red attack. It takes it takes longer to charge each one, but uh, but uh, it does more damage. And yeah, I'm not I'm not concerned with charging my attacks. I'm just concerned with uh, with uh, comboing and building up my bit bit beast meter as soon as possible. Well, that was that was pretty. That was a pretty good. Uh, that was a, that was a pretty good uh, start to this one. Make it to RPG limit break. Even even this might be too niche. Like I'm, I would not preclude myself from trying it. There are, there are several RPGs I could actually submit to Limit Break. Oh really? I I uh, probably check that out one of these days. I I I uh, I've forgotten about that one. Two out of three complete. Like a and that is that is a gold split that will probably last for a while. And now thrown right into the next match against Sarah. Yeah, look, Sarah's back. How about that? One frame early. Oh well. I'll be here for a little while then. I guess this is this is still the game. This is this is the grinding that uh this game does force on you that I've yet to be able to skip. Like, that, th this may be the reason this particular game gets rejected from Limit Break, because it's mostly the same gameplay. It just goes on for so long. The story, the story progression is just, just uh, a bit flat. But who knows? Yeah, can have to wait on this one. Hmm. See, I think I do. I think I do about a thousand damage per. Actually, I'm, I'm going to trigger it. Yeah, it would take me about a thousand damage to get to uh, another unit. A bit meter. Yeah, I, th I think th I think this uh, is best. Yeah, by the by the time by the time I get another thousand damage on to Sarah here, I'll end up close to killing her. Build up the build up the bit meter for the for the, the next battle. Should probably add that to my notes. But uh, I do plan on releasing my notes after this stream as soon as uh, this stream get this uh, game gets on the uh, SRC leaderboards. I'll have to nag a couple of Beyblade moderators on Twitter to put that up, probably. Oh, smash the record. Oh. Uh, 
that makes that makes a little more sense. But yeah, I just I just wonder. I just wonder if the Limit Break audience would be ready for three hours of this. <laughs> This, this is what, this is what you would get. Like, I feel, I feel like you would need the ability to skip a little more content before, uh, this becomes a viable marathon option. And I do mean skip a little more content, because there is a skip that I will be able to do later. I'll probably get to skip, like, what, um, 24 battles? No. How many battles will I skip? I'd be skipping like 32, actually. Yeah, I'd be skipping like 32 different battles. I'll, uh, I'll explain when, uh, when I get to that point. You'll get a little bit of a tip off from the splits as uh, I approach it, but, uh, But uh, I will tell you right now, there is, there is uh, a somewhat uh, helpful, there is a somewhat helpful glitch. And I will leave it at that for now. get the combo in time because I didn't recognize that I was the one getting the hit. Ooh, I almost almost pressed the jump button at a bit of an inopportune time. Okay. Two out of three with Sarah. Like a bounce. Okay. Get to go back to the locker room and uh, find out the results of the other side of the preliminary bracket to determine the tag team that will go on to the world championship. Well, there was only an hour of virtual highlight. <laughs> that's that's not too bad. Like that that would be that would be a shorter run for the marathon for a marathon like that. So that one's that one's easy to fit in. And hey hey, Kenny wins. Sweet. And Daichi's gonna face Kai in the B block final. Now Tyson go going on to uh, the next A block match. Whoop. Hey Jin. <laughs> what the hell? What a weirdo. Next up, it is Skull from the Skull Crew that uh, I had to take on very, very early. The leader of the Skull Crew. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do this. Nah, you weren't, you weren't moving very much. That's fine. Ah, you! I could have knocked you out too. Duh. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed that I'm not listening for that sound. I want to get into the combos as soon as possible. Yeah, these. 
Man, these these matches are nothing to write home about. There we go. Yeah, that that combo at the edge is just so good. Like it only it's only normally supposed to get in like two hits, but uh, at the edges there's just so much collision. You can't you can't help but uh, get the damage in. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. That was a little scary. Like, like, like the L button you use to jump, but uh, if you, it's also used to, uh, with R to launch the Bit Beast, and uh, if you jump at the wrong time, then uh, you can get, then uh, a single hit can knock you out of the ring, and that would be like absolute worst case scenario for what I'm trying to do here. Oh, no! Uh, again? Did he jump again? God damn it. Uh. I'm so annoying. Like, that, that, the, the ring out would be, would be by far the quickest way to get through these fights, if uh, I was ever consistent at them. That's kind of the focus, but then again, this past limit break just had uh, this guy a five, and that's going to a GDQ. So certainly not a certainly not a super hard and fast uh, premise. It's it's a it's an honorable one because yeah, there are there are several RPGs that deserve a shake. In a marathon setting that uh, GDQ will never get a chance to. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe one day there will be room for something like this. <laughs> I don't know. The thought is fun to ponder, if nothing else. No. And you, it, you have to really sell it hard for a limit break, let's be real. Ow. Oh. I don't. I don't think. I don't think the. Uh, I don't think the HD version <laughs> is that. I don't remember the HD version being that much faster either. So that really. That really does not. Uh, do do it too many favors. So yeah, gone. Kind of gone are the days of uh, Spike Vegeta and Puexel. Yeah, racing FF9 at uh, one of the older GDQs. <laughs> Those days are long gone. Alright, this should be all for Skull. up for Tyson. But for now, let's see how uh, 
Daichi and Kai do. No, oh, I, I thought I thought they had I thought they had races. I thought there was some Final Fantasy that was raced back in the day. But I can I can definitely see it. I can definitely see something like that split into parts. It's also been done for Chrono Trigger. Yeah, apparently. Wait, but apparently well, I, don't, I don't get it. Oh no, Kenny lost. Now it's Kotaro in the final. Yeah, that's why he was hanging around here. That, uh... Nah. That's, 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 that's a little cheap, but oh well. I'll get through this with no issues. Oh, Cage too. Yeah. Sardines! Yeah, that, 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 I, I keep, I, uh... I didn't get I didn't get into speed running till 2013, so my my knowledge of uh, earlier speed running events is a bit fuzzy. Oh, really? You went charging in instead of jumping? Uh, it's just it's just that's just so RNG based. It's like, whatever. Yeah, man, so many hits on the edges. So good. Yeah, right, you. I remember counting two such combinations like that. Kinda, kinda takes too long to uh, set that up here, and really, all you need, all you need here is a four-star attack. It's really attack is all that matters. Uh, yeah, uh, actually. Yeah, this feels like a bit of a waste. I should have triggered it earlier. This is fine though. I'll just just build up meter for the next battle. Because normally, normally, I want to. Uh, assuming all perfect launches, I want to. Uh, Split up my bit beast used into into like two two units for this first battle and then have all three for the second. At least that's how I have it uh, figured up for uh, optimal damage and such. Good luck pulling that off, though. I mean, yeah, that gets in a little extra damage, but it's you, you, that's not consistent. So, hmm. I think I'll end up going to two gauges here as well. Yeah, like, like, ugh, like these, these, like, like Kotaro here is uh, just so, so crazy with, with the uh, health 
at this point. Like all of all of Tyson's opponents become nothing but health sponges. So yeah, Tyson Tyson's not worth it to for like the very final fights of the game, which are coming up after this. Like that, the idea, the idea that these foes will scale to your level, to a point, and just end up with so much health. It's just, ugh. just makes every battle a grind. Whoops. Good. There we go. Got the extra hip. That will be neat. Yeah, I have too. It's just it's just not faster. As I will hopefully get to demonstrate. Taro should be close to dead. I mean, his his uh, portrait is kind of cutting off the rest of his health. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. I don't have to do anything else here. <sighs> Two out of three with, with Kataro. Like a bounce. There we go. <laughs> Oh, guitar is so pissed. Alright, and that will... And uh, that will be it for uh, Tyson getting into the World Championship. Now to find out who will be joining him. So now the next match is Daichi against Kai in the B-Block Final. And that will be, and the, that will be Tyson's tag partner. Yeah, I'm in the finals. Wait, what? Do you, um, hmm. Daichi's a bit uh, misguided about what this tournament actually was. <laughs> Daichi had no idea that this was a tag team tournament. No! <laughs> oh man, so si simple-minded. There we go. Now it's now it's time. Uh, oh jeez, what is Kai? Kai's just standing there. What? Daichi's on the offensive, but Kai's just standing there. <laughs> but Kai's doing nothing. <laughs> he's just doing nothing. This he's supposed to be, he's supposedly do doing nothing this entire match. Come on, snap out of it! Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> and now the bit beast just knocks Daichi out of the ring. Nah. And there we go. That's there we go. It's Tyson and Kai. And hey, we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, alternates. Wait, Jim the Gale is the coach. Just deciding what the hell? Kitty. Wait, not Kataro. Um. Hmm. Uh, wait, don't have the skills, what? Yeah, it, it, it's more than just winning, apparently. Alright, um, wait, who's coaching again? Jin? Why? Who the hell are you? Wait, what? Ah, it's, it's... It's a, uh, <laughs> it's Big Brother Hero, <laughs> Jin of the Gale, secretly Tyson's big brother this entire time. What the hell? All right, all right. All right. There's, there's not much, there's not much left to this now. Yeah, he does that a lot. Oh. 
why does why does Daichi have to stay at my house? <sighs> oh whatever. All right. So now, uh, now we're going we're going to watch some TV and find out to uh, find out what other teams are going to be competing in the World Championship. Stars, F Dynasty, White Tiger X, Barthes Battalion, and whatever. Where is New York? It's in the United States. Uh, isn't that over the ocean? We're flying? No! He doesn't like flying either. And uh, yeah, Kai Kai wants no part of of the team. So uh, that's gonna be. That's gonna be it for for Kai. I won't be seeing him ever again. All right, come on, plane's about to leave. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's kind of amazing that you you can't beat Kai early on. I have beaten Ray. In the at the very first opportunity, though, by ring out, but uh, it is possible. All right, all right, in the plane to New York. The Daichi's not liking this. All right, new ripcord launcher, and I'll just select the first two because I don't care. Again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight with Tyson here. Oh, I, I'm gonna go against Ray. The, the opponents are randomly chosen at this point. Oh, whatever. I, I really do not care. My goal is to ring out. And then, then uh, lose on purpose. Like so, the, so the way this is gonna go, Tyson gives up eight points, and then Kenny's gonna get nine points from winning all of his matches by knockout. And then Tyson will lose another nine points. Kenny will get another nine points, and these matches will end with a score of eighteen to seventeen. And that is how I'm going through these fights in uh, as few few battles as possible. So yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go on the offensive as much as I can. Yeah, Kenny. Kenny doesn't have as near an uphill battle to uh, victory in in these fights as Tyson does. So, so yeah, Kenny Daichi. They they would both uh, play the same way. So I I found it faster to uh, go through these to uh, win these fights with Kenny and just skip all of the Tyson fights. I really do not want Gary here to ring out. Because a ring out, a ring out is only worth two points. A knockout is worth three. And I kind of need, need all nine points for this plan to work, so... I can't ring anyone out. Alright, so you're using your bit beast. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to use mine at uh, two gauges now. Oops. There we go. See, I can just well away and win with a a two a two unit bit beast. Oh, 
Like, Tyson would practically need three gauges all the way. With as much health as uh, his foes get. And then he's gonna initiate a little more contact to build up the meter a bit more. Good, good. Good, good, good. This is all according to Kekaku. Translators know Kekaku means plan. So, the way this endgame shapes out is that you have, uh, you have to go through, you have to go through five other teams. You have to travel to, I think, five different cities. And beat the team at uh, at uh, each uh, circuit event, I believe. I believe uh, you call it. And uh, yeah, once once you win all five. Of those of those circuits, then you move on to the World Championship in New York. And that is the very that is the the uh, very last fight in the game. Should be noted though that uh, I did I did say there were ways there was a way to. To uh, to uh, skip the skip some fights. So I'm actually I'm actually going to be skipping four four of those five circuits. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go from this. I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna win this uh team matchup. 18 points to 17. And then I'm going to just... Then I'm basically going to go straight to the World Championship. And the way... The way I'm able to do this is just hilarious. Now, I know my notes say to use... Uh, a full bit-based gauge in this third battle, but uh, I don't think Gary here has the health to do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use it now. Still, this is still about a thousand damage. No, it's like, it's like 1500. Close to it. 22 times 67. That's roughly. That's somewhere close to 1500. I'll just. I'll just. Uh, wear down the last little bit. Gary's RPMs here. There will be. Nothing to worry about from there. Like a bounce. All right. Yep, one point lead. That's all I need. I only just need to lead by one point. Tyson doesn't have to do anything here. I'll just, I'll just spam. I'll just spam. The A button and just you know just yeah you know, don't 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 even care do not care still not caring like a bounce. That's, a, that's a pretty fast flip <laughs> all right so as long as as long as Kenny can uh, take out Ray with three with three uh, knockouts. Uh, I should I should be moving on. I 
actually. Yeah, Ray, Ray actually has less RPMs here than he than he did against Tyson at the very beginning. So weird. So weird how uh, how uh, these opponents scale to your level, in a sense. Yeah, the, the scaling the scaling is just uh, strange. I mean, I guess I guess it's supposed to give. Uh, Kenny and Daichi a fair shake at this. I guess that's the theory. Alright, I can't break through your defense quite... quite, uh, that well. My notes say you can break through everyone's defenses, but, uh... It might be RNG dependent, for all I know. I should also note that the uh, rip cords and launchers don't really have don't have an effect on your gameplay at all. Like having having a better launcher doesn't mean doesn't mean that you have better stats. It just means that uh, your launcher is going to last longer. Because the plastic plastic launchers and rip cords are flimsy. You know, the one, the one that, uh, the one that, uh, Ray gave me at the very, the ones that Ray gave me at the very beginning just, uh, did not last. This is what I meant to do at the very beginning. I was, I was setting up for ring out strats. earlier. I was setting up for ring out strats in that first battle, and I can't ring out Ray in order to uh, not have to repeat the match. I've never, I've never seen it, like, I think the only difference between all of the Rip cords and launchers is their durability, just how many matches you can use them in. Those are the, those are the only differences I ever found between between them all. Rick. I mean I guess you're building up my, my meter for me, but still feels like a waste. I'd rather be doing damage. I did not I did not actually know that. I've never I've never even gotten to max strength with uh, with Tyson. I've never I've never thought to care to build up the strength that much even even when I was playing this casually. Of course, of course, yeah, it's it's so easy with the green attack to get the opponent to jump. I don't need it though. Now, I mean, if if uh, if the apples actually increased your attack power. If that was one of the side effects of raising your strength, then I would be all in on that. But I never, I never found 
that to be a thing. <laughs> that's that's a ring out I was not I was not wanted. That was a little scary. I don't think you can. Like you can you can defend against the you can defend against the attack and uh, you can either do less damage or reverse it entirely for for you to open up your own combo. Sheesh. Jeez, Ray's jumping a little bit more than I'm uh, comfortable with at the moment. Yeah, there's 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 that's what defending does. If your defense is high enough you can reverse it into a combo of your own, but it's not that useful. Oh jeez. This is this is a bit annoying. Okay. Like a bomb. That will do it. BBA Revolution, our team has won this match 18 to 17. So I will get to move on. To Rome! There we go. It'll only get tougher from here on out. That's, that's the, uh, theory anyway. Really doesn't matter who I pick. Alright. Who is coming up? Ooh, Raul. Alright, well, I, 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 don't, I want no part of this. Like a bounce. So, I'll, I'll skip this one. Alright, Kenny, get in there. Actually, I'm gonna take off. I don't need, I don't, uh, I don't think I need to be here anymore. I'm going to blow this popsicle stand. Actually, actually, let me just go home. I'll go home. Let me take, let me take the first plane back home, please. New York? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, let me fly back. New York? What? What the hell? And now suddenly I'm at the World Championship. What? Hmm, okay, I, I've actually done this really bad. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I've really, I've really disoriented myself a bit. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Full Fat kinda has a bit of a issue with their quality assurance. Yeah. Yeah, that that's a That's that's a bit of a problem. Like like you get you get an exit in that uh, one specific area. And then suddenly suddenly uh you skip four of the five required circuits to advance to the world championship. It's, it's kind of silly. It is very likely a script bug of some sort. Oh, actually, I'm, ugh. I also screwed up because I need to...
I think I actually meant to pick... Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing... I'm losing time that I should not be losing here. Also, uh, I think I'm about to lose. I think. I think I'm. I think I'm actually about to lose this first fight. So uh, I'll have to make that up with with Tyson later. So I'm losing a lot more time. I'm losing a lot more time here than I should. Yeah. What? This this is this is a great way to choke the end. At least I think. Let's see here. This is gonna be close. Alright, this is fine. Never mind. Never mind, I won. I won. I thought I had screwed this up royally, but uh, I had only partially screwed it up. Whew. Yeah, that was. I cut that too close. That sort of thing should not be happening. I think I, I think I got disoriented when I actually wanted to split for. Uh, for uh, exiting Rome. Because, uh, I guess I had, I guess I hadn't fully decided in my mind when I wanted to, uh, actually show that I was done with, uh, all of the, uh, world traveling circuits. But, yeah, you can, you can, you can see how close it gets with, uh, with Kenny and Daichi, for that matter, without without boost, and that that's basically that's that was basically my experience with this end game. This is low. Oh, this is nothing. Like, 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 yeah, the... Yeah, hard, hardly anyone... Like, hardly anyone here is gonna be using enough, uh, enough of their, enough of Bit Beast attacks to deplete that, that, uh, fully. Like, I only, I only start to get worried when it's, like, halfway down the, uh, final bar. And there, there's still one full bar of health left. So, this is nothing. Like again, again, I'm on the, I'm on the last set of matches in the entire game, so Kenny will uh, be able to take it. Although it's it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> With, you can you can uh, replay these matches after the end of the game, but uh, Kenny and Daichi never repair their Beyblade, so you get to a point where where uh, they stop becoming usable entirely. It might get to a point where you can't actually win the matches. I think. Like the best you could you could do is like like eighteen to eighteen. You can only tie. It's just another just another oversight from Full Fat in uh, in uh, executing this game. 
I've played I've played a I've played a few of Full Fat's Game Boy Advance offering, so I'm used to that kind of thing. But yeah, I think I think in the previous I think in the previous uh, dialogue for choosing my Bay Blairs, I think I was supposed to not pick Tyson. Because if you notice, if you noticed uh, when uh, Kenny was called up to the stage, he did not move. Like the Blairs are supposed to move to their positions for the battles. Kenny did not move at all. The opposing team did not move at all, but uh, Tyson will actually move. And his movement is uh, kind of mapped to a different stage layout. So it's going to look odd, but uh, I would save on that movement time by not picking Tyson. I was, I was supposed to not pick Tyson. Although my notes tell me to uh, do, that, do that later. I think I would pick. I think I would pick Kenny and Daichi for for uh, this point. Because sometimes, depending on the previous battle, depending on the random draw of, of uh, the the Rome battle, sometimes you get to pick fighters here. Sometimes you don't. I think it depends on whether Tyson's turn comes up in the order. Like Alright, yeah, because Tyson moves here. Yeah, this is this is designed for a different stage. Alright, so I guess. Ring out here. Oh, really? There we go. That took a little too long. But yeah, I get nine points for each like a each win with uh, Kenny, and I lose eight points here. So yeah, I'm still I'm still winning by one point. But Tyson will not need to fight. Oh, shoot. Hmm, this could be a problem. Not gonna lie. It's like, I'm, uh, like, maybe, maybe now I start to get worried about, uh, the health of Kenny's blade. That's probably worth worth uh, three three single unit bit beast attacks of a uh, of a health meter and I think Kai is gonna be able to give me that much in these fights So yeah, I I am actually mildly concerned right now. Hmm. Yeah, I may be able to take two more of those. I can barely take two more of those. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, we'll see if this uh, we'll see if this flub leads to uh, leads to extra extra time loss from uh, Tyson having to uh, engage in the last fight. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Zap. <laughs> no, 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 no. Beyblades are certainly not how tops work. Not these Beyblades. Real life Beyblades are a little better. Not these. Most certainly not. Oh, yeah, you have come at a good time. I am closing out. This run so has taken me through almost three hours of, uh, of battling, grinding, and all cul culminated in a world championship affair. Good, much better. Now I have two full gauges and, uh, yeah, I'll just build up to three for this fight. Because, yeah, my notes actually do tell me to to uh, go three full gauges on my bit beast for this battle. It only do, it'll only do like 2,000 damage though. Something like maybe 2,267 times 33. It's like 2,200 something damage. So there's still a little work to do after this, but uh, I'll be able to use that time to build up the bit meter. Yeah, but yeah, tops certainly do not work in that way. Not by a long shot. Alright, this one's gonna hurt. This one is going to hurt. Keep an eye on that uh, bar in the lower left. <sighs> oh boy. This last battle is going to get uh, interesting for completely avoidable reasons. I got my perfect launch. I did not get a perfect launch, it looks like. So, uh... His bit meter will take a little while to charge properly. Supposed to trigger it here, I think. This didn't do half, though. Hmm. hmm. Uh oh. I mean, that's not that's not so bad. Like, you can't really do damage to a bit beat to a late Beyblade without a. Uh, a bit beast attack, so just wail on this all all I want. Hmm. Hmm. Again, I kinda have to hope that Kai does not use 
is Bit Beast, or I'm probably losing this one. Okay. Think I can survive this? No, he can't do that again. I can't let him do that again, for sure. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny has reached his limit. Yeah, I probably should have waited. I should have waited to uh, unleash my beast. This is a bit wasteful. But yeah, Kenny is certainly a trooper. Good for him being able to uh, take it. Like a bounce. All right. Yeah. They're losing by 10 points. But uh, they can't win now. It's not fast, though. I'm trying to attack as fast as I can. Not, doesn't even matter now. I've already won. Like a bounce. That is all there is to it. I'll have to adjust my notes for uh, next time. And yep, the competitors, the of competitors, please proceed to the stage. Yeah, this is totally not the stage that's supposed to be loaded for the championship. <laughs> and no, and the game doesn't know what else to do with anyone else, so no one else moves. There we go. BBA Revolution is the winner. <laughs> oh, man. Congratulations from everyone around. Yay, Daichi's world champion, too. Well, whatever. About time. I gotta say, I wasn't sure if you were gonna pull it off. Yeah, I could've cut... I had a chance to cut the 240 if I had thought about not picking Tyson at, at uh, the end there. But yep, yeah, there there is uh, there is Beyblade G Revolution for the Game Boy Advance right, pretty much in its entirety. It's a uh, it's a bit of a grindy run, but uh, hey, there's 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 something there's there's a glitch in there that has merit to it that uh, was able to skip quite a few battles, so so uh, it's not it's it's not too bad a game. I mean it. I mean it's the the QA those QA testers uh, had to have been overworked because uh, there there were some pretty big things missed at the very end that uh, that uh, make the experience just a little bit different from uh, what uh, what uh, Full Fat had intended. But uh, but. Uh, but uh, in any case, in any case, that's done, and uh, I think I will go ahead and uh, do another run after this. I want to let these credits roll first. These are really long credits for having kind of a few, only so many people involved with this game. Man. Yeah, these these credits are these credits are scrolling a bit slowly. I could skip them, but for the quality of the of my local recording, I'm gonna keep those going. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, this is this was certainly a game. Two, there were two programmers. Okay, yeah, that that explains that explains a lot more. <laughs> that explains a lot more about uh, the development of this game when there are only two programmers. Yeah, but this like maybe another one or two people could have uh, could have helped make this a little better. Probably could have find, found a way to put multiplayer in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing at this point. All right. 
Alright, you, you done? You done yet, game? Like... Like, these... Yeah, the, 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 there's... There was way... There, there was way too many people... Involved in this. They, they, they must have thought that... Everyone involved must have thought that this... Game was gonna be... Better than it actually is. And it's enjoyable! Certainly. But, uh... I can't help but overlook, uh... But not overlook, uh, quite a few of the issues that, uh... This game had to offer. Oh, they just loop. That's right. These these credits loop. That's that's the whole problem. These these credits just loop. And then you're done with that. It's like you really are the world champion. What? And there we go. It's time to seize the day. And that is how it ends for real.